And and I, I want to say this. I've done a few podcasts now. And after replaying them and listening to myself, I say you know a lot. So I suggest every time I say you know, you take a drink. <laughs> well, that's, I'm in. It, it, it'll be the first Cocktails with Cav drinking there you game. Go. <laughs> feeling that maybe you could tell us a little bit about the main character and, and tell me I wasn't far off that it, it has a lot of you in it. <laughs> I've been told there's a lot of me in her, yes. I grew up in the UK and then um, moved to Canada with my husband and we started off in the Rockies, which was a big culture shock to us because we came from England where there really isn't very much snow at all to um, 29 feet of snow a year, basically. So that was a huge, um, wow. <laughs> that was a huge wow. shock. <laughs> and we didn't know how to, we didn't know how to clear the stuff. I mean, we bought an acreage, we bought five acres. Um, and we just did not know how we were going to clear this snow. So we first, we, we tried clearing it with shovels. That's how green we were when we arrived in Canada. And I think the neighbors thought it was just hilarious um, that we were trying to clear 29 feet of snow with shovels. Yeah, I um, bet you they were just standing back with a, with a cocktail of their own. Uh, I just know, watching. I know. <laughs> Thank you for joining. I'm doing great. And I lift my glass. I got Bacardi and Coke tonight. I lift my glass to all the service members that are missing uh, their loved ones as well. Happy Thanksgiving, happy holidays to the, the men and women that are serving us and doing a great job as a former military person myself. I salute you. Oh, absolutely. Well, I, I certainly uh, I appreciate you coming on with me. I, I tell you, this is a, I love the setup you have uh, and, and you can explain to the, the ladies and gentlemen in the audience. Uh, while we're shadowed out but this is great this is like a great 60 minute 60 minutes interview so uh when exactly did nixon meet you in the parking garage or oh deep throat <laughs> yeah man i love the man uh no uh i have to be blacked out uh there's uh, parts of my book and everything else that uh <clears throat> kind of ring true you coming to us from from nice and warm west coast of florida that's it you know beautiful place uh it's, it, we call it paradise uh, i i agree i tell you it's uh how, how's the temp there we finally got our our first little cold snap here in new orleans i had to put long pants on so <laughs> yeah it got a little chilly here i think it was down to about 80 today so oh yeah that's <laughs> with <the light> jacket. <laughs> <laughs> that's right it, it, it got frosty <laughs> There you go. Oh golly! Well, you know, it, during your introduction, I was I was uh, giving the folks out there listening uh, an idea of, of some of the great work you do supporting indie talent. Because, uh, as we all know, we, we're in a very competitive environment uh, as as indie entertainers and authors and artists. A terrible soldier. I didn't have any muscle structure. I was basically an academic before, and I could not keep up with that basic training. I mean, it, it, I was so weak. I was the last guy running. If you would run somewhere, I was the last guy running. Everyone, the drill sergeants were always yelling at me. I mean, it was, a, it was a joke with the drill sergeant would say, you know, Glazer, you better pick up the rear. If you, if you don't, if you don't move your ass, we're both going to be in hospital. I said, both be in hospital? Drill sergeant? He said, yeah, you're going to have to operate to get my foot out of your ass. <laughs> and that's how bad it was. No, and that's how bad it was. And everything I did was terrible. I know you had had a recent review a couple of days ago, and I'd, I'd just like to read a couple of lines of it, just so the audience uh, could get an idea. You know, the review is entitled, If You Enjoy Reading, You'll Love This Book. And you can't go wrong with the with a review like that as a title, so. That but, was lucky, good timing. 
<laughs> That's right. Well, the reviewer said, you know, this book's part mystery, part cloak and dagger, part romance and more. And if you like an excellent story with great character development, this is the book for you. And and I couldn't agree more. And I really hope everybody can check it out. We moved to um, Vancouver Island, which is just beautiful. Um, and we love living here. It's great. You can sail, you can ski, you can do everything here. So. That's got to be some beautiful country. I know I do a lot of sailing myself down here. It's, it's one of my favorite ways to get away and uh, where it's quiet. I actually do a lot of riding on my sailboat. and uh... <laughs> It's amazing. Just going somewhere and anchoring and just being away from everything is just incredible. So, yeah. Oh, it sure great. is. It's, yeah. And, and I'll tell you, that's... Um, and what you said, you thought you move into a different country where you spoke the same language. Uh, at least you didn't move to America. Everybody knows we don't speak English, right? Is that? <laughs> it starts with you know how we got to the year you know three thousand uh, out in the stars is global warming stuff like that. Whether you believe in it or not. Uh, uh, I took today's events. Global warming is one of today's events. So I took today's events and I said, you know, we determined we need to get the hell off this planet. And so we packed up a whole bunch of 3D printers, SpaceX and, uh, uh, you know, the Jeff Bezos and all those people and NASA and, you know, the cosmonauts and everything. Else, and we just jettisoned off this planet and started colonizing out in space. But all we had with us was the technology we have now. So well, they're using you, M you, teams. They're using you meant, M apps. You meant Elon, right? Not Bezos. We uh, no. No, no. <laughs> I, I was talking. To, no. I believe uh, Sunset Island Cafe TV is now uh, streaming on Roku uh, right, worldwide. Roku. Yeah, we we've been streaming our Roku. Uh, it's been doing real well. We put every band that sends us music on it, and then oh, you, awesome. and all for our shows. We're on three different, we have an FM show, an AM show, but we, we stream those also on, on our Roku. So at any time, you can go there, see a show, see a band you like, and you can put in the genre you want, whether it's rock or metal or you know country, uh, and listen to those bands. Uh, we've had 140 bands get signed by labels, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and so, yeah, you know, we just looking to help promote. We never charge the bands a dime. It's all free. You have to say, well, you know, the dates, the names, and the change, and it doesn't represent anybody. And that's how I, I wrote those stories so that, and when it's been read, someone said to me, you know, Jerry, that's crazy. I said, yeah, it's crazy. I said, I said, he says to me, is it true? I said, listen to me, make up any story you want about Vietnam. I don't care. You, even you, make up any story, any war story you want. Go ahead. Make it the worst war story you want. You know what? I'll believe you. I'll right. believe you. Right. Because what I saw there is not possible. What I saw men do, what I saw events take place, I'm telling you, it doesn't even seem possible that a human being can do this. <laughs>